down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Two tight ends on the field here. Three step drop, and it's complete to Kendall Wright. First down here. This is a time where the quarterback has to manage the clock, has to be very careful. Trailing, needing points to get back into this one. Right tackle, right at the 28. The Titans, good job that time moving the chains, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You've got your you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. And, but the hit knocks the ball out. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit and knocks that football loose. Failing to complete that one. So second down here. Time is running out. The defense knows it's playing with the lead, but doing whatever it can to just try to run out the clock. That's his first reception today. What a job by the receiver. Climbing the mountain and coming down with the reception. Wow, climbing the mountain. That is a new one. What a good job. You're right. These wide receivers in the NFL now, they can go up and make unbelievable catches. And remember, you can't hit them until they come to the ground. That gives them a little more courage. And now we reach the two-minute warning. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Defense lining up here late in this one, trying to hold on to the lead. They deck him in the backfield. Oh, my gosh. It is the worst thing you can do on the offensive side. This drives coaches crazy. When you get down near the goal line, you run the football, and you lose yards, that's just not being tough enough. <laughs> Second down, late in the fourth quarter. The Titans in the full house, set now at the line. And he's thrown to the ground. Bill, it's third down. They are in four down territory, and the defense knows that. Yeah, and you get a situation like this, Jim, on the defensive side, you need one of your pass rushers to come through and get on that quarterback. Coming up, third down, a huge moment. As the Tennessee is in the end zone for the touchdown. Walker's second touchdown of the game. The Titans just an extra point away from tying this one up late. An extra point is good. It's as tight as it can be. The game all square in the final moments. Yeah, when, you, when the game gets in this situation, Jim, which coach has the courage to call that play that's a little daring? They could backfire, but if it doesn't, it gives you a chance to win the game. Hilton's going to run this one out. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. 
The Colts take the field. The game is tied. And can this offense drive down and win it for them? Yeah, you got to be alert on the offensive side in situations like this. The defense knows they can't give up yards. They can't give up points. So look for them to take chances and be very aggressive. Frank Gore with the catch. Gore is tackled down at the 36. No time to huddle right now. They go right to the hurry up. Well, and the, this hurry up offense, such a big part of the NFL. So many close games. You better be good in the hurry up. Oh. The Colts have saved all three of their timeouts for here in the fourth quarter. Luck's got no one behind him, just a quarterback waiting for the snap. Complete just can't hold on that time. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Andrew Luck in shotgun formation. Looking across the middle. Puts a hand. Oh, he made the catch. He caught it with one hand. The Colts come to the line, fourth quarter, with two timeouts remaining. Here's the first snap after the big play. Luck out of the gun. He rips it right out of the wide receiver's hands. Sometimes when you have a player with this kind of talent, you're willing to put up with a few drop passes because when he catches it, he has a chance of going all the way. The Titans go with the dime formation here on defense. Second and ten. Andre Johnson on the deep pass, but it's incomplete. So here in overtime, the rules change. If you receive the ball first and get a touchdown, the game is over. However, if you take the ball down on your first drive and only manage a field goal, the other team will have a chance to tie or win the game. And if both teams get field goals on their opening drives, the next team to score from there will win the game. Takes it from the two. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Titans offense coming back onto the field after a touchdown drive the last time they had it. And they certainly attacked that secondary and got there via the pass. Well, Jim, let me ask you this. How would you like to be the defensive coordinator right now? Because you're over there. You don't know what's going to happen. No matter what you call, you feel like, hey, the quarterback's hot. He's probably going to beat what we're trying to do. First down at the 24. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Titans coaching staff has done a good job of mixing things up today on first down. The pass catches the defense off guard. They pick up solid yards. Now it's second and short. So they complete that one, yet it's still second down. Aaron Rodgers will be under center. And the immediate handoff to the fullback. down following the run the wide receiver in motion the Titans have it at the 34 handoff that was made and had to move the chain you're running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't pump the football, I promise you one thing, you're going to get more carries. Double tight end formation. First down at the 36. Davis is there to take it down. 
Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. This will be second down. And it's a hookup with Walker. Woo. Smith's there to take him down. What we're seeing so many times now this league is the tight ends are getting so good that they have to condense the pass coverage to make sure they stop them, and it's opening up the wide receivers to have a better chance to catch the football. Rodgers now completed. Four in a row. the red zone that was a big gainer now it's time to back it up handoff made still not taken down he's averaged about two yards a carry on the day if you want to run the football with success you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage don't listen to the fans keep running it and it'll work to go right back to him once more On the way, third down. Has the grab. So they fail to convert on third down, but that's been one of the lone failures on third today. Should be an easy one here. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. Yeah, that was a good job that time on the defense. They were bending. They did not break. And all they did was give up a field goal. Luck will lead his offense back onto the field here as this goes for a touchback. It's an empty backfield for Luck this time. First down at the 32. Andrew Luck, look at that arm strength. Yes. Another takeaway. Jason McCourty has developed now into an excellent cover corner in this league. Yeah, the first uh, McCourty twin into the NFL paved yes, the way for his brother Devin. And he has been outstanding with the Tennessee Titans for years. And he is an excellent cover corner. It was memorable, it was overtime, and it was one with a field goal. Yeah, what a tough spot for a field goal kicker to come in, win or lose the game on the, on the fact that he has to make a, a, a kick like that, came through in the clutch, and he got it done. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.